Hey gang, hey friends, hey gang friends. Welcome back, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you? I hope this video finds you well. If you are new here, then hello, my name is Joe and I do nail stuff. She does stuff and nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff. So, we're going to do some foil balloons today. I couldn't find a video of how to anywhere, so this might be the first one. Probably not, but it might be. Anyway, let's get on with it. Um, Oh no, we've got more to... There we go, here we are. <laughs> so we are starting with Rosewood, which is a gel perfection colour. I'm going to do this on... Sorry, I'm cl cracking my knuckles. Can you hear that? It's disgusting. Um, I'm doing this over four nails. Um, you can get your gel perfection colours at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TeamDG for a discount. Uh, I have cured those and I'm now taking Platinum. And I'm going to draw out my numbers, make them sort of quite thick because they're balloons um, and kind of like like bubble numbers, I suppose. Um, as per, wasn't looking at a picture. Should have been looking at a picture. Had looked at a picture the day before. Um, <laughs> so I'm just kind of making this up. I saw these, I saw some blue nails like this from um, Nails by Emma Leeds on Instagram. She's amazing. Um, and But I can't find a tutorial or anything anywhere. So I'm, you know, just seeing, seeing what happens. Uh, so we're now on to the zero. We're going to be doing 2021. We can finally kiss goodbye to 20 fudging 20. Because it was just a disaster of a year. But don't be fooled. Just because it will change to 2020, 2021 doesn't mean that all this crap's over, okay? Coronavirus is still around. Global warming's still a thing. Racial injustice is still very present. We still need to, um, you know, still need to deal with this stuff. Just because it's a new year, it's not going away. However, I'm now doing the one. Um... We have a Brexit deal. Don't know what it is. Don't bother listening to any of that stuff anymore. Bored out of my f***ing mind about it. But, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Who knows? Well, to be honest, I know. It means that the price of everything's going to go up. And the whole referendum just gave a bunch of the sun readers the chance to go, I don't want foreigners in our country. Doesn't work like that. You really think France are going to be bothered about who crosses the border now? No. No, they're not. Right, nails. <laughs> So this one I actually changed before, I'm shouting again, I changed before putting in the lamp. It's a bit too fat. It's a fat one. <laughs> uh, so I do change that. It will look a bit different. I was just making sure the heights were similar for the others. I'm going to, oh, I've added a little squiggle. And the reason there's a gap between the squiggle and the balloon, we'll get to. Um, that's the string. I'm topping this with Make It Velvet. And then I'm curing that and I'm going to take foil it, which is the Gel Perfection Foil Gel. Gel Perfection Foil little Gel. Uh, and I'm going to go over the two. Um, and I've left a gap because I forgot to do it in the silver, where I'm going to add just a little tab coming out from the bottom of the two, like you get on the balloons so that, I don't know, they have tabs, don't they? You can tie string to or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to go over that trying to I don't want it to be too thick because I don't want it to crinkle in the lamp but I also want to make sure that it's as smooth as possible so our foil transfer is as smooth as possible I don't manage it that well on all of them but it just kind of adds to the character well that's what I'm going to say it does anyway uh, so I'm adding the little tab there and then foil it has a two minute cure in UV and LED I'm now taking this silver metallic foil um, also from diamondglitters.co.uk and I'm going to pop that on there and rub a dub dub we know I rub my foils for too long it's clearly transferred already but I'm going to rub it until 2021 <laughs> just to make sure just to be sure um, and then peel it off just going to patch over in case I missed any bits so you could technically leave it like that because bam foil bloom you know that's it but we're not going to <laughs> we're going to faff uh, i'm taking alaska and i'm going to paint on some highlights and i think um this 
will help it look like a shiny foil balloon even when the light's not hitting it because obviously as the light's hitting it here I've got a big old light above my desk um, then it looks shiny anyway but when it's out of the light you still want it to look um, shiny I did see a oh I'm doing the Alaska a bit thicker than I want it because I'm going to do some contouring is that the right word for this yeah I suppose it is some darker bits um, and I don't think they'd show up very well on the foil so I thought if I do the white a bit thicker I can use that as the base for my black I was planning ahead so organized <laughs> for a set I didn't know how to do and I'm just making it up um, so I'm going to go around the white with some black which is black out um, I did just watch um, just now um, a video of a girl because I thought I'd search to see if there really aren't any oh I'm outlining um, very thinly some of the balloon I don't know if I do all of it just because you know where it's sort of puckered at the top like where it's sealed where it's foil sealed that's a horrible word puckered just makes you think of a you know um yes yeah, so I'm doing some very thin outlines and I'm going to cure all that uh I cured the white and now I'm going to cure the cured the black um yes i just watched a video of a girl drawing with pencils some foil balloons oh my goodness it was insane and it made me realize i could have gone into so much more detail with this um which i was probably aware of at the time but didn't want to so i'm now doing some little black lines where any bends would be in the foil so any corners or any direction change i'm doing um some little black lines making sure that you can see them over the white. And then I'm going to cure those. Oh, trying to get in shot. Um, we're going to cure those and then we're going to do exactly the same in white. I think as some of them I did the white first, some I did the black first. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm going in between the black ones. I don't like that bit there. That's not very good. Here's how not to do it. <laughs> That's what this video is. Um, I think all my videos are... This is kind of how you can do it, but do it better than I did. <laughs> uh, so I'm now going in between each of the lines with white. Um, I think it did actually work better when I did the white first and then the black. And I think it just neatened up the white lines a bit. Although in that video I watched, she did the dark first and then the white. Whichever way you like is fine. Do one one way and do another another way and see which way you prefer. Either way, I've not done the best job on this one. So I've cured those and I'm now taking super gloss. Super gloss! Um, and I'm covering the balloon in super gloss. Uh, I'm not going to buff that or anything. I'm going to leave it. So super gloss is thicker, so it is going to give it a little bit of a raised effect, which I wanted. You could just use diamond gloss if you want, but I think... Um, with the lines and the foil, I think super gloss is the way to go, which is a, a rubber top coat. So, Or you could double top if you don't have a, a thicker um, top coat. So that is cured. And that's our number two. It's kind of like a Mona Lisa, you know. From that distance, it's like, oh, looks like a foil balloon. Oh, Dave. <laughs> um, but from close up, it's like, what's all these random white lines and, you know, shit going on everywhere. But anyway, uh, so I'm now doing the zero. I wanted to show you how to do it for the whole nail to be shiny if you didn't want a matte background. So I've painted my silver zero and cured that. And I've wiped, I haven't topped or anything, I've just wiped straight over it and given it a very light buff with one of those sort of squishy, very soft buffers. Um, and now I'm doing the same again with the foil gel, the foil it over the silver we're going to cure that and do pretty much the same steps as the two um after watching that girl drawing some foil balloons uh with pencil i realized that my crease marks so those little dashy lines we did for where the sort of crinkles are and the balloons a bit puckered they're all in the wrong places but you know if you look at a picture when you're doing it just copy where the balloon actually creases and not me <laughs> I just listened back to some of the voiceover to check something and realised I said, here's our number two. <laughs> Such a child. So while I'm doing this, let's have a mini episode of 
lovers and haters lovers and haters lovers and haters uh we have a nice message from gabby who says omg i love your work i love your channel thank you and happy new year thank you gabby happy new year uh happy new year to everybody uh when it comes it's not long off now is it a few days um what will you be doing for new year's eve we the majority of us here in england aren't allowed to do anything <laughs> So I will likely be having a few drinks, watch a film, just chill out really. Maybe do some filming. I don't know. Um, nothing nothing noteworthy, I don't expect. Uh, so I'm now carrying on with the same as we did. Just should I just thought I'd better talk about the nail quickly. Doing the same as before. Um, outlining. If you ever have any questions, then feel free to ask. Sometimes I listen back and think oh I should have said this or I should have said that so any questions then just just holler I'm here not allowed to go anywhere <laughs> uh, we did actually have a question from Heather M Pedersen she said that her 12 year old said that if I watch the adverts all the way through on YouTube videos the creator makes more money is this true uh, she said because actually like your videos enough to sit through the ads if that's the case I believe yes if you sit through the ads that's how revenue is earned um i'm not sure if the skippable ones if you press skip if it if it creates any revenue i don't really know but i think yes that's the case so yeah if you can spare an extra 30 seconds for the ads then go ahead and watch them you might be interested in them that's a lie no one's ever interested in the ads um but but i believe it does help so hey if you're willing to sit through them that would be amazing and uh, much appreciated thank you I'm now adding some creases round most of the centre of the zero because I figured that's where they would be um, in black and then doing the same in white. Um, do we have a hater? Let's. Somebody said in Spanish, um, arreglate. Do you like my, do you like my <laughs> accent? Arregla arreglate tus uñas para subir videos which Google trans tra translates translates to fix your nails. So uh, fix your nails before you post videos. So I replied, no, fix your attitude. So that was our hater. <laughs> uh, we are now talking about nails again, shall we? Yeah, done that, done the little lines. Uh, and now I'm adding the string, which could have done earlier, but I kept forgetting. So I'm adding that now, curing that. And then I'm going to top the whole thing in diamond glass. Of course, of course. And then you could just leave it like that. Um, but because I'm going for a matte vibe, uh, I then went around just the pink areas, the rosewood areas with matte top coat. Or make it velvet, sorry. So that's our zero. I think that one kind of looks quite cool. I think that's my favourite. I like it. So I've now, this is the order I should have done things do the silver number add the tab at the bottom cure that and do the little string and then make it velvet um, and then cure and it's gonna be the same again guys oh look i've sped it up because i thought people are bored people are bored already um let's have let's do our lover sandwich our <laughs> sounds like a sex position lover sandwich and finish with a nice comment oh this one's amazing <laughs> kathy wellman said jim these are stunning <laughs> <laughs> Jim um, she said it was an autocorrect which I think is amazing <laughs> she said even on my saddest days your videos make you smile and oh I love that hearing that you've given someone a smile is just is so wonderful to hear and it makes me smile so you know fair trade smile for a smile uh, I've got a little bit of foil on I don't know how it managed to stick to part of the matte nail but it did so I just wiped that off with a bit of isopropyl alcohol and a lint wipe, um, which is your cleanse prep solution. Uh, the white I'm doing on here, again, a bit thicker, so I can use that white as a base for my black line so it shows up a bit more. Um, I, If I thought about it a bit more, I would know where to put the highlights a bit better, you know, where it's going to be shiny more. But I don't, I don't think I was really thinking about it that much. Um, but I suppose had I looked, had I had a picture in front of me as I did them, that would have helped, which I say all the time. And I know, Joe, put a bloody picture in front of you then. But I'm watching something 
and I don't want to look at a picture. I want to watch something to entertain me. Uh, but I think I presumed, you know, the, the ones are pretty straight, solid balloon. So line down the center, that will do. Uh, and then add some more diddly dashes, dash, 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 probably in the wrong places, but it'll do. Um, it gives the impression. But if you do recreate this, I'd, oh, please tag me in them. I'd love to see them. Um, because I suspect you would be wise enough to have a picture in front of you and you could follow um, where actual highlights are and where creases are um, and they would look a lot better but this, this I was happy with this for as it is uh, so I'm going to do the same I've cured all that and then I'm going to top with super gloss super gloss to the rescue um, and then cure that and then I believe we are done I normally post on Sundays so I missed yesterday which I said I might do um, I'll post this today which is Monday Thursday, what's happening Thursday? It's New Year's Eve, nothing major planned. I'll try and get a video for them. I think this whole week between Christmas and New Year, I don't know what day it is. I don't know where I am, what's going on. So um, things might be a bit muddled for a smidge, but we'll get back to normal. So this is all of them. We have our 2021 balloons. Um, I think they look all right. What do you think? Um, I know they could definitely do with some improvements, but for a first time, I think... I think that's acceptable. <laughs> I'll accept it. I'll allow it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If I don't see you before New Year's Day, um, then have a wonderful New Year's Eve. Um, stay safe. And here's to a better 2021. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.